last year, the Buccaneers had three quarterbacks, Tom Brady and Blaine Gabbert with Ryan Griffin on the practice squad. Ryan Griffin's biggest contribution was to serve as the guy who kept Brady from falling over drunk after the boat parade <laughs> when they won the Super Bowl. Now they have Kyle Trask, second round pick, fell to them. There was a thought that he would go higher than that. He yeah. was there at the bottom of round two. They actually thought about taking him at the bottom of round one, so they got him a full round later. Here's Bruce Arians talking about the development of Kyle Trask. It's not easy when you're going against our defense because he, he has seen a multitude of blitzes and coverages, so I just, I'm really impressed. And, uh, you know, it's a... Uh, you know, when having worked with guys for the first time in this offense, he's at he's at the top of the list as far as the learning curve, and uh, and he's throwing the football really well. Mentally wise, he's not far behind it, but Andrew did in the same offense, and uh, you know, it's um, what Andrew did that year is unbelievable. But um, I'm not saying he's Andrew Luck, no. but uh, but mentally he's mentally he's really really sharp. Bruce Arians loves him some hyperbole. Not long ago, he was calling Blaine Gabbert the most underrated player in the entire NFL. He pumps his players. They, really, they, they have an issue there. Brady, Trask, Gabbert, Griffin. Yeah. Somebody's got to go. And Arians talked about that yesterday. He's not ready to call Griffin the odd man out. Griffin's been there since 2015. It's crazy. 2015? Well, it goes he's back to one thing. He's played in two games. Yeah. 2019, he's played in two games. Right. But uh, I, I, I can't imagine them keeping four guys around. No, I'm with you. And, you know, and, and you know that it goes back like the Griffin thing goes back to like the same. You know, he's a non-threatening, perfect backup quarterback. You know, the team's never gonna walk off the practice field and go, "Whoa, did you see our backup?" They might go, "They might go, whoa, did you see our backup holding our quarterback up straight so he doesn't make a fool of himself?" Uh, weekend at Bernie's no, he here. Was, uh, he it still made amazing. a fool of himself. It, it kept him from falling down and busting his face. Well, yes, either way. I loved it. I, 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 lo it. I thought it was great. No, it I thought it was great. It's I great. agree. You're right, I agree. right. But, like, I'm right. with you with the – I think Ryan Griffith is the, the odd man out. I do, yes. I mean, Blaine Gabbert has the experience. You got a Super Bowl team. You got to keep him as the backup. And Trask has a chance to be the future. I mean, that, that's why they drafted him. And I think it's encouraging all those things you hear – you know, from, from Bruce Arians. Trask, from his college tape to his pro day, did pretty drastically change his throwing motion in his body, which is very encouraging. You know Bruce Arians likes big quarterbacks, like Big Ben, you know, Peyton Manning, even Brady, you know, Carson Palmer. Those are big guys. Trask is that kind of guy, and that's where he fits, and we'll see. Maybe they really struck gold here in, in late in the third round and, and found the future, but he's got some time to develop behind the great one. I'm still not a big believer in guys changing their throwing motion for their pro day and having it stay with the new motion when it's time to go play football. The biggest example there, Tim Tebow. Remember all the talk in 2010? Oh, he's changed his motion. He's yeah, changed his motion. Sure. Yeah, fine. When he starts playing, he's going to go back to that slowly cranked catapult motion, and we saw that time and again. But look – Arians has made it clear not that long ago that he's staying. He's not going anywhere. There was a report, Super Bowl Sunday, he may retire if the Buccaneers win, and he called that BS, yeah. although he used the full word. <laughs> uh, he's staying until Brady goes, and he made it clear recently he would be happy to stay afterward. That's when he said Blaine Gabbard. He'd love to work with him, most underrated guy in the NFL. He's got Kyle Trask now. And it's kind of the... Belichick Brady conundrum on a different level because Arians is going to want to prove that he can still coach at a high level without Tom Brady. When Brady comes in and does so much for your team and everyone thinks, oh, it's Brady, it's Brady, it's Brady, I think Arians is going to feel compelled to stick around and show that he can be successful without Brady. Uh, it would be interesting to see. I mean, certainly Brady got, you know, the the – the, the 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 you know the majority share of the credit this year that's for sure you know but it got Bruce Arians a Super Bowl he doesn't care we'll see we'll see if he can kind of check his ego at the door with with that whole conversation as we go forward but I like I don't expect him to retire anytime soon now I mean damn he's worked all this hard and now he's finally he's got a team that's set up for the next three or four years to be one of the best teams in football so he's like damn I'm not giving that up I'm gonna stay right here and see if I can't squeeze another Super Bowl win, maybe two out of this. But, you know, you bring up an interesting point there that, you know, maybe that reality could start to be an issue at the end of this season and, and next offseason. 
But I think that if you are Arians, you've put in the work, you've paid your dues, you got your first opportunity That's to be right. a head coach late in your career because you don't kiss ass, you don't play the game, you are true to who you are. It's one of the reasons Mike Zimmer had to wait as long as he did. So why now, when you've put in the effort, when you've reached your spot, why would you walk away from That's it? Right. You know, That's the right. The question came up earlier this week about Roger Goodell, how much longer he'll be the commissioner. Be the commissioner as long as you can. Right. Die with your boots on her until they tell you to get the hell out. What's the point? (laughs) Right. You're making huge money. Right. You've cracked the code on the job. Why would you stop doing something that you have put that much time and effort into perfecting and reaching a level where it's working? Yeah. It's working. That's right. And it's easy for you now, or at least easier than it's ever been. Why would you stop doing it? So, yeah, Arians... Coach as long as you can. Goodell, commission as long as you can, or commission or whatever the right word is. And uh, that's the way to do it. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.